All right, so a new stage of tower has come out. And just like all the other stages, it's just very easy, but it has a gimmick. And if you don't do the gimmick, you can't beat it. So every single time, and I, no exaggeration, except Asquinner, because Asquinner had no gimmick. It was just easy, like playing straight. But every single time there is a new stage of tower, I get tweets saying, this stage is impossible. How was a free-to-play player meant to beat this absurd difficulty? You know, like, and then he's using like the one goddess Liz and Green Gelfer on like the king stage where you're supposed to use SR characters. But as you might have just seen, I'm actually kind of funny. The, the gimmick for this stage is that you can only use one unit. And if you don't just use one unit, the stage is hard. That's it. So let's let's play it. I mean, I, 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 I like these gimmicks. I think they keep the stages refreshing. Of course, when it's, you know, a secret and you have to, like, discover by yourself is one thing. But literally, as soon as the stage came out, I looked on Twitter and I already saw people spoiling the surprise. So, like, if you, if you already know the gimmick, it's really not that hard. So, yeah, that's, that's the gimmick. I don't know if I have, like, insane... Let me check if I have, like, insane stats. Okay, so they can't be debuffed. That was like 200k? Yeah, yeah, they're doing like insane damage. So I'm assuming you have like 8 billion health. Let me see. Okay, game. Thank you. Yeah, they have 3 million HP. <laughs> uh, so yeah, you just have to solo them. And look. Almost done. One level one card. And I got I got at least five tweets saying this stage is impossible. It, it's every single time, really. Like, every single new stage that comes out of this tower. Some people think it's impossible because, you know, they... Especially because they don't say what the gimmick is, right? So they go, ask Kanur, Goddess, Liz, and Galfer and be like, Wow, they really are ramping up the difficulty of this game, aren't they? <laughs> In reality, no. You just have to solo it. Are, are my substats insane as well? I think he healed like 900k. Let me see. So I can probably solo this with like many characters. Ah, uh, not really. I guess lifesteal... Lifesteal definitely... I did, I did 3 million damage. Lifesteal that... I'm using HP gear, but... <laughs> I just... I just, I just uh, Remember, the music HP gear, so get 30 gems, part 1, part 2. Um, life still definitely also like includes how much health you have in that calculation, right? Well, let's see, let's see what other units can do. Let's see what the 1 can do in terms of damage in this stage. Unless maybe human characters don't get the boost. Because I wouldn't be surprised, like, they, they, they usually make it so a specific race doesn't get as, like, as good of a boost if that specific race is very predominant in the game. Like, for the longest time, after, if you guys play JP, you guys definitely know what I'm talking about. When Red Arieri and Green Asterosa came out, they came out very close together, right? Uh, it was like, it was when they were releasing, like, the double commandment banners. Um... When Red Derriari, Green, Der Green Derriari came out together and then Esther... Who released first? Was it Red Derriari or Estorosa? I think it was Derriari, right? I could be wrong on that. I could be very wrong on that. Uh, regardless, after that, the game was go was like non-stop. And I mean non-stop making activities where demons took extra damage. Because... <laughs> nice. Because demons were so predominant in the game. Just because they released... At the time, Red Derriere was like the best PvE unit in the game, and Asterosa was up there too. Asterosa was literally up there as well, because it's like right now in the game, a lot of activities remove stances, but back then, Asterosa would use a counter card, and like all the bosses would just attack him 800 times and die. Like, <laughs> that was every time. Like, so yeah, like, demons were for the longest time a race that was super shafted in activities. Super bosses would do extra damage to them. Every super boss pretty much did extra damage to them. Uh, or take last damage from them. 
Yeah, so it was annoying. Especially because, you know, Dariari was usually a unit that would uh, do so much damage that you would get a lot of points, right? And even still, um, what was a super boss? I don't... I don't remember exactly, but there was a super boss that did do extra damage against demons, but the best strategy is still use Dariari. So the shit was just way too predominant. Let's do one more character and then we can finish this. It's just... I could probably auto this. Do I have the option to auto? I don't think I do, but... Yeah, you saw those stats. What's a funny character? Let's do Twigo. Let's solve this with Twigo. Uh, he's level 90, so he should be up here, actually. Yeah. I'll keep... I'll keep... I'll keep Saurio Link. Uh, let's... Let's give attack food. I don't have attack food. I can buy... I have the power of gold. Alright. Let's do Twigo and then we, we finish the video. It doesn't even have to reach 8 minutes if it doesn't. It's just a quick one on this tower stage. I, I like that last tower stage, the Escalator one, I knew he had no gimmicks, so I didn't even bother like doing it in the first week. I was just like, ah, I don't even care. And the rewards are bad. At least this reward, 30 gems, that's a good reward, you know? But the Escalator reward was like, what? What was the Ask Me Reward? I remember it was really bad. And I can go back and check after uh, this completion here. It's a shame Jericho is blue. Twigo would have a better time. But... Wait, how much life still does Twigo have? Probably not much, huh? I'm, I'm actually... Not, <laughs> might not be able to lose with Twigo. 2.7 million. 4%... Uh, it's not the greatest. Never mind. I almost almost killed the two with just one AoE. Next AoE definitely kills. Yeah, well, if if I don't beat it, I don't beat it. It's fine. It's like just me me with Twigo, you know. It's like if you can beat the stage with Twigo, you can beat it with anyone. Because Twigo has like no effects on his cards, right? It's just the cards are just damaged. It's literally just damaged. Uh. Yeah, because I'm attacking once. I can definitely kill both of them with this. Yeah. So next turn, give me another. Yeah, I definitely. I actually, if she doesn't ult next turn, it should be good. She's doing like three attacks for sure. I might die, but we'll see. We'll see. I think I can double kill her here. Can we go with the 1.2 mil? We go with the big damage numbers. Oh yeah. No damage, baby. How much health do you have? That one did 1.2, but did I crit? I might have crit. I don't remember. She has... Oh, I guess she has like 4 million HP if you're using more than one character. And if you use one character, it reduces the HP. Okay, I see. No! Yeah, I had crit last time. That is very unfortunate. That is very unfortunate. Well. If I had crit, I would have done it with Twiggle as well. So, um, and actually, before we go, I'm curious on what was the, uh, the reward for the Ascanor one. I remember it was trash. Yeah, it was 30 purple gems. In compared to like Gelfer, 50 of each. Oh, this is such a good reward. Please, please bring this back.